Hey everybody, welcome back to another Judgment Commentary of Kaguya-sama Love is War, but today we're going to be checking out episode 11, the second to last episode of season 1, but last time on episode 10, it was a pretty good episode for Kaguya and Miyuki because, you see, they were trying to deal with the aftermath of episode 9 as uh, crazy as that episode was. And at first, this resulted in them bickering over who got the last slice of cake. And it wasn't even just, like... And at first, it just resu- And at first, it just resulted- And at first, it just resulted in them bickering over who got the last slice of cake. They fought over that fiercely until friendship police Fujiwara decided to, you know, bust in and save the day like always. Eating the last piece of cake herself. But, in an interesting twist, Miyuki and Kaguya went out and sought some relationship advice for a change, and it resulted in them both just realizing what they needed to do to mend this little rift between them. Miyuki told the truth about what happened in Episode 9, because earlier to Kaguya he said he didn't touch her at all when all that was going on, but he revealed that he did actually. He, like, pressed his finger against her lips. I guess. Still don't remember if we saw that happen or not, but... He says it happened. And to make things even, Kaguya touched him on his lips, and all was right with the world. Honestly, nice little moment between the two of them. And I gotta say, Ishigami's fiery passion regarding this topic was, uh... Entertaining, to say the least. Then in the third part, it was just them talking about what they're going to do for their vacation, you know, because... They already said they were planning to go to that spooky mountain, but... I guess those plans fell through, so they were having to argue about what they were going to do now, and... In the end, I think it just resulted in them going to the Summer Festival. And sadly, Fujiwara cannot join them. That sucks. Instead, she's going off to friggin' Hawaii. So I guess that doesn't suck. But now, a couple other things. One, I apologize that there haven't been as many Kaguya videos uh, lately. Like, last week there was only one video of it, and I'm sorry about that. Business has been picking up over at work, and it's summer, so it's all hot, and it's just... Left me pretty exhausted. But I'm gonna try to adjust and make sure we get some more Kaguyas out this week. I mean, there's only one left of season one. By For the life of me, I am going to react to episode 12 this week. Ain't nothing gonna stop me from doing that. And lastly, something I've been meaning to talk about but haven't really had the chance to is... I've been getting a lot of comments recently on uh, YouTube regarding the subs that I'm using. Many people have pointed out the... Uh, inconsistencies of them, like that they're not fully accurate to the intent of the original and that there might be better subs out there, and uh, if so, if there are better subs that I should be using going forward, like into Season 2, feel free to let me know about those, because I've tried looking uh, into finding my own subs, and uh, it's a little difficult because, you know, Season 3 of Kaguya just finished airing, so there's a lot of just single episode season 3 subs that just kind of complicate the search. So finding what would be the best subs to use has been uh, a little difficult. So for season 1, I was mostly just left with these subs that somebody provided for me. And for the most part, they seem fine. It's just that, you know, there's a few things here and there that are a little off. And even I managed to notice it sometimes that it was a little weird. But like I said, if there's some better subs out there that you think I should use going forward, please let me know, and I'll gladly look into it. Anywho, that's more than enough blabbering, so let's get into episode 11, which by this first shot, yep, looks pretty beach episode. Can't wait. Let's go. Ah, poor Kaguya didn't know how to use Twitter. I mean, if anything, that's a blessing. <laughs> you shouldn't have taught her. If she gets access to Twitter, you know what that's going to do to her? You don't want to expose her to all the nonsense that's on there. It'll be devastating. Yeah, just Kaguya wanting to follow Miyuki on Twitter so she could see his, uh, protected tweets. It's, uh... <laughs> uh... Certainly something new. And poor Hayasaka just wanted to relax in the tub while sitting in a lawn chair. Not something I've ever thought of doing, but... 
Now that I've seen it, it actually seems kind of relaxing. Normally people just sit in the tub. They don't usually bring in a chair, but I'm not going to knock it until I try it. And I loved the little meta joke here of them finally <laughs> calling out Kaguya and Miyuki's mind instead of being like, Oh, instead of just following him, I'll make my own account private and then wait for him to follow me. And yeah, <laughs> just having to call it out as nonsense because it, it never works. I love that joke. And we got two non-applicable outcomes, by the way, because Kaguya and Miyuki never saw each other. The whole episode, which is uh, rare. I don't think that's happened, <laughs> where they just straight up never interact. But that's, you know, part of their arc here, is that they're both realizing how much they miss each other. Sweet. And then just the freaking ramen battle happened, which I feel like I'm missing some context here regarding that, but <laughs> it's, just, it's just some dude just uh, going off about how, you know, the, the meticulous details of eating ramen and all that. And he sees Fujiwara come in here and just start handling it in the exact same way he does and assumes that she's some kind of ramen master when, no, she's just mindlessly enjoying ramen the way that she does. Although, there was this thing about a switch. I don't get the switch thing either. Hold on. See right here. Where is your switch? I wonder if that's, again, mistranslated or something, but... Her ramen switch was on. What the hell is a ramen switch? Like, you turn it on, and then it magically makes you able to order the best ramen and enjoy it? <laughs> I don't know. Where is your switch? I don't know. I've never checked. I don't think I have a switch. Also, gotta point it out now. This episode is technically the rare four-part episode, because this, uh, this last one here where she was talking about, uh, her strict upbringing and how little control she has over her life, this one was, was a fourth part. It was called I Can't Hear the Fireworks, part one. That wasn't referring to what it's going to be next time. That was this one. It was a post-credits segment. Right when I was saying, there's never anything past the credits. Just how sad it is that she's just, I uh, you know, she repeated over and over that it's fine, that it's all right the way things are because it's all she knows. She's never known anything else, but that doesn't mean it's all right. Her father apparently doesn't really show her any affection. He sees her and he's just like, oh, you're here. Good. And it's like he didn't, no hello, no how you doing, no glad to see you made it, none of that. Just, you're here. Yeah, the more we learn, the more we see that Kaguya is a pretty tragic character. You know, just, uh, the classic sheltered rich kid who never got to really go out on her own or make her own decisions about stuff. Also, I noticed on Miyuki's Twitter page here, he is following the same amount of people who follow him. Which means that anybody who follows him, he follows them back. So, if she had just, you know, asked to follow him, he would have followed her back, and then it would have been fine. Anyway, I think that's all I gotta say for now, guys. So thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Subscribe to be updated on more. That would be fantastic. Next time, we got episode 12, the final episode of season 1, and then we can move on to season 2. Might not have that episode out tomorrow because, you know, the new Maiden Abyss drops that day, and maybe I want to react to that instead, but... Thursday or Friday, I will 100% check it out. Still, this was a uh, fascinating episode. Had a lot of unique elements to it. <laughs> Especially the ramen battle. Just, yeah, Fujiwara going out to enjoy some ramen while some uh, older gentleman <laughs> starts to question if she's some kind of master connoisseur. Which, maybe he's not wrong. She has a switch on her neck that makes her into one. Gotta tell you, Fujiwara's chaotic nature never gets old. So yeah, that's it. Thank you once again for tuning me again. I will see you guys all later.